dear friends and welcome to another episode of Peachy. I have a very useful video for you today again, once again. <laughs> We're gonna talk about liquid lipsticks and the top five mistakes to avoid when applying it or before applying it or when you try to remove it. Because that is all not as easy as it is with normal lipstick. So if you're interested in that you should stay tuned right now. Mistake number one. Applying liquid lipstick on dried out lips. Given that matte liquid lipstick is already incredibly dry in itself, there is always a risk of it becoming flaky if applied on really dry lips. Therefore, it is always a good idea to give your lips a little scrub before applying the lipstick. I like to use some Vaseline and a toothbrush, which I gently massage my lips with in order to remove any excess dead skin flakes. Once you're done, Make sure to remove most of the Vaseline with a tissue so that you're left with an even lip texture that is dry and still moisturized. Mistake number two, drawing a unsymmetrical lip shape. Since a lot of liquid lipstick formulas are completely drying, we don't have a lot of time to get the lip shape right because corrections are difficult to make, especially once the product is dry. As a result, nine times out of 10, you're probably struggling to nail that lip shape you were going for. A simple trick is to use a lip pencil first to determine the middle of your lips and then outline the lip shape. Here you pretty much have all the time in the world and you can correct easily. After that you will find it much easier to apply your liquid lipstick flawlessly since you only need to make sure you stay within the borders of your outlined shape as opposed to creating the lip shape on spot. Mistake number three. Pressing lips together shortly after applying the liquid lipstick. Now this is something that a lot of people do and for creamier formulas it's perfectly fine to do so because you basically just equally distribute the lipstick on your lips. However, if you do that with liquid lipstick, especially when it comes to darker shades, you will find that the lipstick becomes patchy. The reason for that is that the liquid lipstick only needs a few seconds to dry. So as you apply it, it leaves different levels of dryness on different areas of your lips. When you then press your lips together, the dry parts will stack up product, whilst the wet parts will lose product, which creates the patchiness. Therefore, it is always better to do top and bottom lips separately and only letting them touch once everything is dry. Mistake number four, applying too much product. A lot of people complain about the really dry feel that matte liquid lipsticks leave on the lips. But to be fair, a lot of people also simply apply too much product. Especially when you apply more than one coat, you really are not doing yourself a favor. To give the liquid lipstick a lighter feel and look, just do the outline with the liquid lipstick and then blend it towards the inside of your lips with your finger. The advantage of your finger is that rather than adding more product that is not needed anyways, the finger kind of absorbs the product and therefore gives it a lighter feel. And don't worry, usually the amount of product needed to outline the lips is already more than enough to fill in the entire lip section. Mistake number five. Removing liquid lipstick using raw force. Guys, I know, matte liquid lipsticks, especially the Kylie ones, are extremely difficult to remove, even when you have makeup remover. So a lot of people just try to rub it off using raw force, which leaves the lips feeling dry and sore. A better option is to apply some sort of pre-conditioner on top of the lipstick beforehand and then let it soak for about 10 minutes. Just like you would let dirty dishes soak before cleaning them. Once the Vaseline has softened up the lipstick, you can just remove it with ease. Alright my lovelies, that was it for me today. This was my little uh, liquid lipstick 5 mistakes to avoid video. I hope you liked it and I hope you found it useful. Um, Petteri found it incredibly useful because he was making all these mistakes, weren't you Petteri? Anyways, there's gonna be a new video next Wednesday. I'm very looking forward to it. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I would be, of course, very happy about a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, you should do so to not miss another video. That was it for me. Goodbye and lots of love.